Viewer discretion advised. We are at the Cadillac Hotel in Fort Worth, Texas, I believe it is. Yeah, I was fixing to ask you about that. Uh, okay, I thought I heard a f female voice. Somebody been laying on my bed. Oh, look at that. Hey guys. Yeah. You need to come over here now. All right. If, if that came from upstairs, can you make a loud noise upstairs so that I know it was you? What the fuck? There's talking. But it was a weird noise, but it could have been something natural. Like yeah. This is your wake up call. Yeah. yeah, it was down this hallway. It, it almost sounded like footsteps coming down. And heard it. What up, pair of heads? We are in Fort Worth, Texas, where we are going to investigate three different hotels in three nights. First up was Miss Molly's. That's already on the channel if you'd like to check that out. Right now, Deborah is taking us over to the Cadillac Hotel to show us where we're going to investigate the following night. Okay, so we are at the Cadillac Hotel in Fort Worth, Texas, I believe it is. It is right across the street pretty much from Miss Molly's where we were at last night. And we are upstairs starting in room 11 where we found it unlocked and there was a head invention on the pillow. We found that yesterday. We come back over here today and we discovered multiple rooms unlocked that we know had been locked because we tried them. Those are big, big, like single pane glasses, right? Yes. Yeah. Damn. This building is over 100 years old. There's one double room on this floor and then upstairs has two double rooms, one on each side. The rest of them are just single rooms. How many floors is this? Two. Is anybody going to be staying here Friday night? No. So anybody that scheduled Saturday wouldn't be here till like three or... Nobody's here this weekend, period. Really? What? Oh, I think I'll be staying over here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. I don't want to split y'all up. Yeah, well, you know what? Y'all can come on how you want. Do whatever you want. <gasps> oh, snap, it's on. Oh, my goodness. I, I just got to warn you that AC upstairs has gone out, so it's probably 100 degrees up there. Check this out, dude. Oh, my goodness. Up here, you see, all the rooms are down there in this one bathroom down there. Ooh. Oh, no way. Yeah. Rim pops goes crazy in this hallway. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to uh, take take my time, but I'm going to go crazy. Yeah, I was fixing to ask you about that. Uh, What's that? This door is unlocked and open. Somebody been laying on my bed. Oh, look at that. What the hell? What is that? I don't know. I don't either. But that somebody's been on that bed. Somebody's been on that bed. Look at the head pillow. Yeah, there's a head Oh, print. wow. Head print the pillow. Okay, it's a little quieter up here. Not a lot, but there is a head imprint right here. And this room was unlocked, room 11. The main AC to the building is actually out, so there hadn't been rent any rooms up here. Um, 
place was locked up. There doesn't seem to be any way for anybody to have gotten in here unless they had a key. So, if you slept in this bed, can you tell me what your name is? Can you open the door for me? Like you must have done to get in here. Can you do that? I'd really like to know who the hell was in my bed. <laughs> so, uh, Are we thinking it is a physical person? I don't know. I don't know. How what would they have saying. gotten in here? They can't, you can't get in here. That's what I'm saying. You speak See, and you just got through talking about how this hallway, the rim pod, goes crazy. And the very next thing you notice is the doors unlocked and we see an imprint. See all these on doors are locked. Yeah. I keep them locked. That's crazy. That door was unlocked and there was a head print on the pillow. On the pillow. This right here was pretty shocking and Deborah was kind of pissed off about it because she knows that everything in this hotel is locked up. No one has had access to this hotel, I believe she said in like three weeks. The upstairs AC is out, the main building AC. So the only thing it has is window units. They weren't renting any rooms in this second floor. So nobody should have been in this building unlocking doors and whatnot. So she was a little frustrated by this. And then we see the head indention in the pillow. Clearly somebody or something had been laying in that bed. So either someone has a key that isn't supposed to, or something else has been unlocking doors. So this prompted me and Huck to go around and check. And we checked almost every door on that second floor they were all locked with the exception of room 11. When we went back the following night to investigate, me and Tina found that almost every door on that second floor was unlocked. None of the AC units were on. This makes no sense. Why would somebody, a physical person, unlock all these doors? No one's using these rooms. What was the purpose? Again, you're left with two options. A physical person had a physical key and was unlocking doors and they're not supposed to be having a key or being in that building or something else was unlocking those doors. I don't know, but it was pretty creepy either way. Yeah, it's, it's freaking weird. That head indention is very prominent. Um, it's actually gone, it's not as deep as it Rituals. was. Rituals. Rituals. If I was going to try to read into that, I would say something like, are you suggesting that you are here because of a ritual of some kind? Does that mean you are bound to this building? Or is it just this app randomly spitting out some nonsense? Yeah, there's nothing else you can tell me. I want to know specific information about this right here. This indention into the pillow. It's clearly a head indention. Um, something made that. If it wasn't a human, then what was it? All right, if you're not going to talk to me, I'm going back down. Stairs is a little warm up here. We'll be back later. Yeah, it's hot. Sorry. Oh, well, I'm, I, I, I'm, I thank you. Thank you for being sorry that it's hot. Or are you sorry that you couldn't tell me more information about the room 11 head pillow thing? I'll take either one. But what are you sorry for? Can, can you tell me why you're sorry? Because it, I mean, it's definitely hot. And if you're sorry for that, I appreciate it. What? But you know what? That's not the first time I came over here my door was open. And I think it was the same one as a matter of fact if I was on the right. Is it lady. Lady? Was it a a lady that left the indention in the pillow in room 11? Or are you referring to Miss Debbie, the innkeeper, that, that let us in here? We don't have to unlock all of them, but if I can have access to that one, especially given what we just saw, yeah. I'm going to go in there and do some work and see if I can't figure out who's in there messing with stuff. <laughs> Somebody in there messing with shit. Leave it alone. Yeah. You ain't going to fix it back. <laughs>
Yeah, but as hot as it is up here, you won't have to unlock everything because I won't be up here long enough to be in all these rooms. But it's getting kind of warm up here. It's too loud downstairs. So I'm going to walk this hallway one more time. If you want to speak to me, this is going to be your last opportunity for right now. I need you to give me something. Clear. What is your name? My name is Shaggy. I've never heard it asked that before. That is weird. And it was right when I was passing by room 11. That, that I find interesting. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm, I'm still not saying it's paranormal. <laughs> but who's asking? What is your name? I told you mine. My name is Shaggy. Shag Nasty. The Master Shag Windor. The Shagadelic Relic. Shag you McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. What's your name? Don't be like that. How you gonna be like that? I gave you my name, but you're not gonna give me yours? That's horse shit. And you said... And you said... And you said... Oh. I can turn the AC on here. So don't sweat to death while you're in That That was weird. No, I wouldn't. I heard just as you unlocked the door, there was a noise down here at the end of the hallway that sounded like movement. And I thought, well, maybe, but no, it's not. It's probably whoever's in this room. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, thanks for unlocking my door again. <laughs> I said I was going to walk the hallway, so I'm going to continue doing that. I really would like you to give me your name now that I gave you mine. Do you have a name? No? Mel. Melt? <laughs> That's interesting because it's fucking hot up here and I was about to leave because of it. So, unless you're trying to tell me your name is Melt, <laughs> that is, that's a fucked up name, I'll be honest. But if that's in reference to how hot it is, you are spot the fuck on. Um, can you clarify? Was you saying that was your name or was you talking about the hellish temperatures up here are you in room 11 is this where you hang out for some reason paula the old innkeeper said uh, she definitely has some stories about this place and even though it's not marketed as a haunted hotel both this one and the stone house which is all owned by the same individual that owns miss molly's and it's all ran by the same people. They say they have had lots of experiences in both of these. That was wild. Yeah, you said the, that's twice that's happened. And when was the last time anybody stayed here? Um, it's been probably three weeks. Wow, yeah, there's no way. At least they know it's here. We haven't had anybody else. I was going to say, who would be up there? Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't be up there. Wow. That's so the wild. people Because the, the people that come here, they aren't going to come here until 2.30 in the morning and they finish drinking and they stumble up these stairs and go straight to bed. Yeah. That's all it was to stay here. Wow. They invite, because of the noise. That was so cool that we caught that. Because that, that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, you, you see stuff like that in movies, but we've never encountered anything like that before. Was that? A door that was locked. Was the door still locked? Or unlocked. Oh, it was like, like, it was unlocked. Okay. Yeah, I just meant it wasn't like open but locked, like in the locked position. I, I didn't even pay attention to how. No, that it worked. was unlocked and open. Wow, that's nuts. And it shouldn't have been either one. Hey guys. Yeah. Y'all need to come over here now. Did you hear, Did you hear that? 
Yeah, he didn't. I was over there by the stairs. If it wasn't there, it was in one of these rooms. He heard something loud, bang or thud. Is that you? Can you do that again? I just hear you over here. Did I hear you in here? I feel like I heard somebody in here making noise. I feel like I heard somebody in here making noise. I feel like I heard somebody in here making noise. I feel like I heard. Somebody in here making noise. Did I? Close this door and see if something will open it again. Hello? What is it? Who's out there? Are you here fucking with us? You are, we can't see you, so you're one up us already. Come over here and do this. I hear or I hate, what was that? Hello? Ain't a lot, it was creepy, dude. What? That exit sign. It's like out of horror movie. Michael Myers come walking down the hall. Ugh. <laughs> oh wait, it's Friday the 13th. It gets to be Jason. Shit. You know that? You know it's Friday the 13th? <clears throat> okay. Can someone communicate with me through this box? Oh, 
God damn, it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I was I was getting sick. Walk through and scare our buddy. Shut up. I was getting I was getting the wheelies and I said I'm getting the wheelies. And so I backed up and I was trying to get to the doorknob and as soon as I got it open it went Yee! like that. I'm like fuck it. Scared, scared the shit out of me. Yo! Did it come through there? It did not. Yeah, that did. Yeah, that did. But you saw how loud. Oh, what was that? What the fuck? Oh, shit. What did you hear? There's talking. What the fuck is that? Bro. I have a feeling they're talking out here. It, it was either outside, but it sounded like it was in here. It happened twice, same voice. Did I just hear you? Did I just hear you? Oh fuck. Was that you? Did you drop something? Oh shit. Bro, I heard something drop. What do you mean drop? Drop, Mike. Like someone dropped something. During our investigation of the Cadillac Hotel, we tried several different types of experiments, especially while we were upstairs. This particular experiment we were doing was a cell phone experiment. And it's a experiment where you take and put one cell phone in one location, take another one to another location, and you put them on speaker and you connect the two phones through a call. What I think after listening back to this event that takes place here, is I know for sure I was hearing Tina's voice echoing through the two cell phones coming up the staircase. And I'm afraid that what I heard, air quotes, got thrown was probably them in the room setting something down on the table, any movement at all, moving a chair, whatever it was, if it was loud enough to go through the speaker of the phone and carry through the other phone, carried right up the staircase and scared the crap out of me. So after this particular experiment, I don't think I'm gonna do this experiment anymore because it's too easy to get a false positive and basically fool yourself. And unfortunately, I think that's what happened here. If you're down there, can you ring the bells? We'll be able to hear it if you can. Can you ring the bells if you're down there? I'd like to hear that. That was background noise, that's somebody outside. Did you just ring the bells? Did you just ring those bells? I'm not sure. Can you do that again if you did that? I was distracted by the, there's some drunk dumbass yelling outside and I went to look and I might have heard the bells ring, I'm not positive.
Can you do that again? by her head and get it on, it. on the ear. Yeah, you got her you got her good, bro. <laughs> I creeped up shit. and I'm on film with y'all's cameras in mine and I creep right up on it and I go <laughs> and I'm, this Did you notice that the other ones were still recording about the kitchen? I saw what? lights on it. I okay. mean I, I didn't notice it was actually recording or not. For some reason that camera just stopped recording no reason I don't know which one? That's this one? right there. What? No way. Yeah, I don't know when. Making my last rounds for upstairs uh, here at the Cadillac Hotel. And I want to go ahead and turn off all the ACs so they're not wasting money. Turn off all the lights. Make that slot. That's off. Let's see. That's off. Let's see. That's off. Let's see. Let's see. Close the doors. Stay cool in there as long as you can. Doors locked. What do you want? Oh, shit. Scared the fuck out of me. Uh, I'm just trying to turn the lights off. Is that okay with you? Turn the ACs off. How do you feel about that? Is that going to be an issue? Room 9. Yeah, this, this room definitely didn't do any good at all. Colors. Colors? Let's turn you off. I'm doing my last minute walk through here. And we have determined that so many more doors were open than were yesterday. We don't understand how that is, what caused that. We're trying to determine, we're trying to determine we're trying to determine, we're trying to determine, was it somebody or something or the spirit of somebody? Yeah. 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 
So we know we tried several of these doors and they were, uh, they were locked. I know they were. And it was fucking weird, man. Okay, I still need some answers. Just about do it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. This creeped me the fuck out when I saw it. I have no idea what it is. You know, my first thought as a more skeptical person was, well, it's just some, you know, it's kind of, some curtains have tassels or there's little stringy things or it's something like this, something natural. It's nothing to worry about. But in other footage that I looked at, there doesn't appear to be anything behind that curtain, like nothing else that could have caused that. And it's only seen in this one clip. No matter how many times we went in this room, and we were all in these rooms multiple times throughout the night, this was never seen again. I don't know what it is. I know what it looks like. It looks like a goddamn giant fucking spider, you know, hiding behind the fucking curtain. I don't know what it is. You know, I, I want to say this is something natural, but I couldn't begin to tell you what it would be. So I gotta leave this as as open as what the fuck, I have no idea. But when I look at it and I slow it down, it looks like it's withdrawing away from me, like it came out. And as I approach to turn the AC off, it backs away. I don't know what it is, but it's creepy as hell. What do y'all think? Anybody else got anything else to say? Anything at all? I, I would like to know who unlocked all these doors. Thank you. Oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> no, thank you. You're scaring the shit out of me. We just heard, I don't know what the fuck it is we heard. Almost sound like footsteps coming down. I heard it. I heard it. I'm gonna take a fucking break, motherfuckers. Okay, shit. Game on, bitches. Let's go. I'm going down here to see what the fuck that was. Let's turn this back on. Y'all wanna play? Okay. Y'all wanna play? All right. Okay, who made that noise down here? Who made that noise down here? I clearly heard what sounded like footsteps. Like they were coming down this hallway at me. Was that you? Well, 
debunk it to did, did I believe I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not but it would appear that we got some kind of trash thing going on let me see if I turn my infrared light off so you can see it there's a truck down there and I heard rattling they got a bunch of trash cans on the back of it and it would have been that's what I heard in here anyway it was loud and it could have come through that door as well all right I think I was able to debunk that at least I mean it sounded like footsteps to me but when I got in that last room I heard loud you know shit clutter commotion it sounded like it was in the room with me I looked out the window and there's a pickup truck back there with a bunch of trash cans full of crap and they're moving shit or dumping shit or doing something now i don't know if that could have also been what we heard yeah. here are they, are they this close no they're way at the end of the building That, that sounded like a weird, almost like a growl. Sorry, it is. Just a weird, it's yeah. Like yeah, something like that. I'm not, I'm starting to sound like. It was a weird noise. I'm not gonna say. Yeah, it was a weird noise, but it could have been something natural. I yeah. Maybe it's a cat outside. It been the building settling. I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. But yeah, it could have very well been natural because now, you know, we we go from the point of the night of the investigation where all the drunk kickers have finally given up and gone home. And it's right about the time where all the hard working early early bird guys are up doing their shit. Mm -hmm. So going to work. We get, yeah, we had a a small window of opportunity where we got to do our thing. I mean, it's 436 now. Yeah, we're fixing to start getting up, going yeah. to work. Yeah. Yeah, that's them down there. Yeah. Yeah. You should have heard it in that room. It sounded like it was in there with me. <laughs> yeah. That might have been MNP. Misidentified natural phenomenon. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's weird, though, that... It's like those noises I'm hearing down there now. I'm gonna play it back and see if I can. Yeah. From through that door, but maybe a room or two over. Yeah. Oh, the other thing, the the, the first thing. The second thing. The second thing. The first thing sounded was right the fuck there. Yeah. To me, the second thing sounded like footsteps at the very end of this hallway coming this way, but that's where they are doing what they're doing. So I don't know. I have to play it back and see because I've I've got on film now what we caught in here, or what we heard in here, what we heard down there, what I heard when I went down there, and then what we just heard again. And I can compare and see if it sounds the same. Because clearly what I heard when I was down there and what I heard just now is like, you know, throwing junk around. Yeah, they might know? be picking up cans. Yep. You know what I mean? I mean, the guy's truck was just full of those rubber or plastic trash cans, just full of junk. You know what, and I just said that, that's that first noise mirror. Sound like somebody poured a whole bunch of smashed aluminum cans into something. That yep, no, I did kind of sound was. like that. Yeah, I think that whole little episode might be debunkable. <laughs> Archie debunker says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. play for us now. Make some noise. I'm tired. This this actually though this this place feels more draining 
We're in now. Somebody make a noise up here? Y'all gonna be doing shit up here now? It's got to be done. Now I highlighted that particular booming noise, not because I think it's paranormal, quite the opposite. I think it's coming from outside and I wanted to highlight that so you could hear the difference between that and what I'm going to capture later, which is louder and closer to me. I think I was dealing with both at this particular moment in time. Outside natural noises and also inside paranormal noises just happening at the exact same time because we captured what clearly sounds like boot steps. I just heard that loud knock right after Huck and Tina left and I know that did not come from outside. Never determined what it was but I think that and other noises were inside with me. It's got to be coming from down there. I want to check this door. And with that, Huck and Tina had left the hotel for the night and I was completely by myself alone in the Cadillac Hotel. They went back to Miss Molly's to spend the night and I was left here to see if anything would react to me being here by myself. Just in case something happens. <laughs> This is really draining. I have a headache a little bit. I'm not used to experiencing that. I keep hearing noises that I can't determine where they're coming from. Are they natural? Or are they something else? It's like it's almost five o'clock in the morning. That's when you know city workers, town workers, whatever, they're gonna wake up. They're gonna be doing shit. The early morning guys are gonna be getting up.
可以。Tired, so I could have imagined that, but I almost a in my ear. I heard it kind of like a almost. I can't even do it. Sort of like a growl, but not as dark. <laughs> Fuck. I feel like a crazy person right now. And it was like right here in this ear. Did you do that? Are you fucking with me? Ring these bells if you did that shit. Because if not, I'm going to say I just imagined it and I'm fucking tired. It never happened. Ring the bells. Come on. That had to be my, my imagination. See, there's... I don't even know if this camera's picking up. There's a lot of booming. But I'm confident that's just outside noise. Trucks. Another loud noise. You know what? Let's try something. Since can't determine for sure. Let's try a little bit of the ghost box stuff and see if we can get some answers on some of this shit. Okay. 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 I thought that said Shaggy. Did you say Shaggy? Did you say Shaggy? Did you say Shaggy? Did I hear Shaggy come out of this box when I turned it on? What is giving me a headache right now? Who's here with me right now? We are maybe... Who unlocked the doors upstairs? Me? 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 Do you have trouble, Jamie? Do you have trouble, Jamie? Do you have trouble, Jamie? See this what? Ring the bells. I'd like to see that. Is it difficult for you to... Communicate with me? Which room is safe? Why can't you ring these bells for me? Do you not have the energy? My body. My body? My body. My body? That might have been radio. Look, I'll even show you. Look, I'll even show you. That's what I want you to do. Don't. Maybe. Oops. Can you do that? Can you do? Do what I just did. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because you're not talking to me. Can you say goodbye? All right, goodbye. Bye.
Real creepy and shit. I hope it heard that. Okay, bye. <laughs> it said bye. A real creepy voice. Alright, well, shit. Try some more stuff. Fuck okay. it. Is that coming? That's coming from outside, right? It sounded like it sounded like footsteps again, but that's what I think is the noise that's being made outside. Can you do that again? If that was you, I'm pretty sure that was outside. All right, we'll try this again. That's outside. Hold on. See anybody? All right. If, if that came from upstairs, can you make a loud noise upstairs so that I know it was you? Was that you upstairs? Hold on, I gotta check down here. Play around with this, but I've got it. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I'm gonna leave this recording down here and I'm gonna go upstairs with the ghost tube app so I can see if these noises are coming from upstairs. All right, I'm coming upstairs. I can't determine if you're making these loud banging noises up here. If you are, do it again while I'm up here, please. How about that? I don't see anybody out here. There's a vehicle down below me, but the one over there, it doesn't look like anybody is loading or unloading any merchandise. Did these bangs come from up here? Do it again while I'm up here, please. If they did. Come on. Let's go. Time for y'all to go. This is your wake up call. Get y'all's asses up. Come on. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Did I hear loud booming up here? Did you lock the doors back? Nope, you did not. I thought I asked you to lock the doors back. You can't do that? No, I guess not. Do you like them unlocked?
So I'm filming with this ghost tube app simply because I'm just fucking tired and I don't feel like lugging around my big camera shit. And it works similar to, and it works similar to, and it works similar to the obelisk. It doesn't mean I'm gonna believe everything it spits out. In fact, I'm not saying I'm gonna believe it at all, honestly. It's gonna have to be pretty fucking relevant or come with some other shit. But I wanna be filming and I just like this better than just a regular camera. I guess that wasn't you then. I'm going back downstairs. We'll try this again. If you want me to come back, make some noises. But then do it when I come up here so that I know it was you. Yeah, I guess that wasn't... That, that was more than likely just outside noises. And it just really carries weird in this old building. You know? <sighs> it's gotta be what it was. <sighs> Did I hear a female voice down here? Did I hear a female voice somewhere down here? Hello? What did this building used to be? Was it ever a brothel? Or a speakeasy? Like so many others were? Look, I'm completely alone in this building. You don't have to be afraid of me. A lot of squeaky floors. Come on. Trust me, I am not a scary guy. I am Irish, I do have a temper, but I'm cool right here, literally right here. Oof. Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> now you can. Oh, that's so nice. Come on. Look, I'm fixing to go to bed and this is gonna end the second night of our investigation here in Fort Worth. And I would like to get some information. Can you help me out with that, please? Nothing? You can't... Nothing at all. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. You're not going to talk to me. Last chance. Turning it off.
That was definitely not outside. That was a knock, and it happened right here. That was weird. Okay. Let me turn this on. That's clearly background noise, obviously. Uh, that's a truck, a trash truck, something. But I heard, clear as day, a. No, it's lighter than that. But I heard it, like a knock. Was that you? Can you do that again? Hmm? 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 Who did that? That was definitely not outside. I mean, I obviously can't say that it wasn't some kind of a, I don't know, building noise, settling or something, but it didn't sound like it. I'm gonna close all these doors. So that I just know they're closed. <laughs> so I got this on film. So if I wake up and these doors are open, and I'm the only one in here. So if I wake up and these doors are open, and I'm the only one in here. So if I wake up and these doors are open, and I'm the only one in here. And I'm the only one in here. Then I'll know you or you know. Somebody here must have opened them. See, all the doors down there are closed. Closing door number two now. Okay, all those doors are closed. That's to the kitchen area. This is to the bathroom. This is the room I'll be sleeping in, which is room one. This is the Basically a lounging area where we have all of our gear. And this of course I've got the bell set up. In case that goes off, it goes downstairs, that's upstairs. Okay. Who knocked for me? Can you tell me who that was? At this point, I was really at a loss. This place was really draining me. I had a headache. I was super tired. And I was dealing with noises that were clearly from outside, but also stuff that I'm convinced was inside with me. And I was just having trouble determining which was what. And it was really wearing me down. I was hearing clearly what sounded like boot steps on the hardwood floor above me. I was hearing knocks and taps. I did capture some EVPs, but I was also hearing clearly trucks rumbling down the road in the front of the hotel. I was hearing, you know, trash pickup or whatever those guys were doing at the back of the building. It sounds like bottles or cans being dumped into trash cans and it was loud as hell. I am convinced at this point that I am absolutely interacting with something paranormal within that hotel simultaneously having to deal with outside noises as well. Man, I was just getting worn down. Okay, I uh, still have a headache. It's fucking, I don't know, five o'clock in the morning, I think. Uh, Might have heard somebody talking. Might have been outside. I just stood in the hallway for the second time and said, I gave you plenty of chances to communicate with us. It's been died down for a while. I'm going to bed. Leave me the fuck alone. If you want to get my attention, jingle those bells that are blocking the staircase there. If not, leave me the fuck alone so I can go to sleep. And I had to go out there a second time because it sounded like something was jiggling with the door handle. That was outside. It is hard to determine a lot of the outside noises from inside noises. Mm, fucking headache, dude. 
I feel completely drained and wiped out. And that's not normal for me. I mean, I know that happens to a lot of people, but that just never happens to me. I'm by myself at the Cadillac Hotel in room one. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm gonna try to get some sleep. I know lots of people and teams throw the word haunted around quite frequently. And I try not to do that. I also I am a individual who doesn't straight up believe in ghosts in the traditional sense. But to put it another way, I'll just simply say that we captured so many anomalies, so many things happened here that I think are legitimate paranormal activity. Now what that means, I leave it up to the viewers to decide. I think, without a shadow of a doubt, a good portion of what we captured was definitely legitimate activity within the building. Some of the stuff we were able to debunk as being noises from outside. I'll end by just saying that the Cadillac Hotel is amazing. It's a beautiful location and we would absolutely love to go back someday because that place personally gave me the creeps. Out of all three hotels we investigated, it messed with me the hardest. It's a great location and I definitely think there's something going on there.